morning everybody it's banana day i'm in the car with bo jam he's driving and drinking tea don't panic everybody he's going to get me there safely i'm feeling a little bit fragile at the moment um bo jam's ass is on fire and stinks to high heaven i'm about to have my head out the window like a dog stopped at Starbucks I can't help but think I've made an error and had an egg and bacon muffin which is a touch herby an hour before breakfast that we're motoring along the M25 here we go motor 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 enjoy the M25 people anyway traffic's good at the moment the clouds are starting to clear I haven't rubbed myself down with any cream yet, but when we get there, Bojack might have rubbed me down anyway. Caution. Oh, caution? What are we cautioning about? Camera. Uh, smile for the camera. Anyway, I'll uh, let you know when we're there. So we've made good progress, people. We've been um, going down a lot of country lanes here, there and everywhere, ragging it about, um, having to give way to people. Some open reach BT van booted at us. I don't I really know why. That's his issue. Um, I do believe that we've got a turn up left or right. What's this one here on the right hand side? Addington Golf Course. Oh, that's Falcon Wood. That's not Addington Court. That could be the one. Huh? That could be the one. It said Addington Court. Yeah. yeah. Golfers. No. Uh, oh, hang on. What's that up there, though? There's a place up there because my thing said turn left. All right, just reversing into the middle of the road. It doesn't matter, because we can do what we like. I think it's up here on the left. Um, do we do a left here? What's this one? Yeah, let's go in here. That's the one. There we go. Oh, yeah, this looks more like a car park. There we go. Is it yellow? Who's here? Who's here? That looks like Rocky. Standing over there, uh, Johnny M's there, Andy's there. Who's that? Who's got his ass out of the car? We're here. We're here. Right, off we go then. Why are they standing outside? That's a bit concerning. Anyway, let's go and find out. Hello everyone, I'm Matt, the Minion. And now it's time for today's breakfast review here at Addington Court. Right, where are we going to start with this? I'll tell you what, we'll start at the beginning. The beginning was, breakfast was late. Uh, not impressed with that. Uh, we had an 8 o'clock breakfast, an 8.41 first tea. I think breakfast turned up at about quarter past 8, so it didn't give us long. Anyway, let's get on with the food. We had a tomato that looked like it had been dropped off the 22nd floor of one of the high rises. We had a hash brown that looked like someone had trodden on it, flat soft spongy we had baked beans which are strewn across the plate i prefer, prefer them these days in one of these little round pots which i've been told is called a ramekin um two slices of bacon which was underdone uh underdone as far as i'm concerned and worst the, breakfast we've ever the had sausage the sausage cheers steve the sausage woeful tiny little thing little council sausage 79p for eight in asda um probably worse than the pizza that the chief ate yesterday um oh yeah and some toast which wasn't it was bread worst breakfast i've had um in fact it was so bad that i'm still a little bit hungry and i've got a bad feeling that today i could end up with the spoon anyway cheers everyone we'll let you know how it goes Today, people, we are at Addington Court on the Championship Court. We've just teed off on the 4th. Let me give you the lowdown. We were meant to have breakfast at 8 o'clock. They didn't open until 8 o'clock, so it was a bit of a rush because we were then teeing off at 8.41. Walk with me, Bo Jam, walk with me. So the first hole, the fairway was a little bit patchy. The, um, the green covered in sand. It's a bit treated because it's coming into the winter months, don't forget. Uh, it's like getting cold. Playing with my mate Minion, resident Hello. breakfast reviewer. Hello, hiya. You've seen this breakfast review already. Um, I'm also playing with Bojam, who's my uh, cameraman today. So it's all, um, all very exciting. 
Third hole, short par three, very narrow when you get on the tee, paid 110. Again, greens are quite fast, but it's enjoyable. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to you later on and let you know how we're getting on. Catch you later. Uh, fifth tee here. We've all hit screamers down the middle. It's a little bit damp on the old uh, tee box there. But as you can see, and I said before, that I'm playing with Minion today. Hello, there everyone. Hello. Everybody likes an opinion. So this is going to be a new section in the group of Minion's Opinion. It's going to be called M Opinion. So M Opinion, could you please tell us what the bunkers are like? Um, well, I've been in most of them, so um, I can, I've got, I'm, yeah, fairly well uh, educated, educated uh, to, to give you an opinion. Some of them have been like Brighton Beach, full of rocks, full of stones, full of pebbles, a bit firm underground. I did actually find one that had lots of sand in it. Unfortunately with that one, I hit my ball very, very cleanly out of it. Didn't take any of that sand. I went about 50 yards past the green. So, uh, not overly impressed with them, but it is just a personal point of view. These boys couldn't tell you because I haven't found one yet. And that is Minion's opinion. <laughs> I'll start again. So we're coming up the seventh, and I believe that this hole is called the Everest. Some of our group were in front of us, and we saw that they were extremely out of breath and needed an oxygen tank when they got to the green. So if you can't walk very much, or you're very unfit, and if you've got diabetes, I would suggest that you load up on the sugar so that when you get to the top, if you're out of breath, having a diabetic fit, either have a first aider with you or get some sugar down you. So anyway, you can hear that I'm now getting out of breath because I'm starting to pant. And that is because it's all uphill for no other reason. Uh, the fairway looks good on this one. The green on the previous hole was okay. I went in a bunker just to see if the opinion was correct. And whatever he said about the bunkers was correct. They're not very good, they're very council-like. Um, I'll report back if I make it to the top. Catch you later. it to the top of the seventh which is the Everest hole very much out of breath the cars were going the old butt cheeks were starting to clench a little bit so now we're on the eighth which is nearest the pin my watch is currently showing 147 to the middle but the flags at the front so it's about 135 the group of other bananas are still in front of us on the green so we're watching them um, as you can see there's copious amounts of trees so what's going to happen now is I'm going to tee off and I'm going to dive into them and have a quick pee because there are no facilities on the front nine of this course for me to go for a pee. So anyway, the greens are getting better, the golf is still good, and we're still in a good funny group. Anyway, time's cracking on, I'll catch you later. All right, so we've just finished the 12th, which is a cheeky little par three on this back nine now. I think it's a little bit better than the front nine to be fair at the moment, but this is the walk from the 12th green to the 13th tee through some wooded area. So uh, if you're on your own, be careful in the dark. Um, the other group seems to be a little bit erratic in front of us at the moment, but the, um, the overall general state of the course, or standard of the course, is um, quite acceptable for our standard, ranging from a 10 handicap all the way through to multiple 28s. Uh, Minion here is having a good steady round. Um, the greens are still very sandy. And if you'd like to spin around Mr. Bojan, that's what places us for this next hole. So uh, we'll catch you later. So we're now on the 15th tee. We've just finished the 14th. There's a very, very short par three. As you can see, Minion's there. He's, um, Minion's actually avoided the three gaping bunkers that are in front of the green. Thank you. Very short par three, about 125, I think it was. Yes. From the, uh, from the yellows. But if you look down here, we've got a nice long par four now. Very tree lined. The fairways are actually pretty good on this back nine, to be fair, although winter operations are in place. Um, a bit of a hold up, we've caught up some other bananas. But the greens are still the same, they've been consistent all the way around, but they possibly be a little bit slow on the back nine for some reason, don't know what. Um, but the longest drive hole is coming up soon, I believe that's the 17th, so I will report back to you on the 17th. See you later. 
the 17th, which was our longest drive hole, and none of us done particularly well. Both young men in the bushes, Matt lost his ball somewhere on the other side, and I was about a foot off the fairway, longer than the longest drive, but hey ho, never mind, life goes on. Anyway, that was the nicest green that we've played so far, there was not a lot of sand. My opinion can't um, comment on it because he didn't actually make it there, but we're going to walk with you now to the 18th tee, so let's walk. There's no signage by the way, I just had to go by memory of seeing a tee box earlier on in the round. <laughs> Which doesn't impress me too much. But you can see the view, it's all very nice and scenic. And we're coming back around to our par 3 that we've already played. The easiest, one of the easiest balls on the course I believe. So walk with me people, walk with me, keep walking. Right, you can see that pigeon, that's where the tee box is. Over there. Right, right. right, second attempt at walking down the 18th fairway. Uh, we finally made it here after a leisurely day. There's not been met too many hold ups, but I've enjoyed playing with these two idiots. <laughs> but um, overall, the course, I'm going to give that probably, I don't know, a, a 6 out of 10, purely because of the state of the greens and some of the fairways need a bit of um, work on. Um, I haven't found too many fairways, but the ones I have have been a bit dodge. No water though, there's been no water on this course, which is always good, because we don't like swimming. Um, plenty of bunkers. Plenty of bunkers, because Minion here has gone in most of them, and they've generally been the same, a bit rocky. Um, but yeah, we paid, it's um, £28 for full English breakfast, tea, coffee, and 18 holes of golf. Um, We'll probably come back, but you probably won't rush back. <coughs> they weren't open when we got here, which is never a good sign. When we've got tea off at 8 o'clock and breakfast at 8.41. The toast wasn't really toast, it was just bread. A bit disappointed with that. But yeah, get yourself down here, have a little bit of a knockabout. It's not too bad. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And don't forget everybody wants to be a banana, but not everybody can be a banana. See you on the next one. Till on the 2nd of October. Ciao for now.